Graham, talk to me about teamwork and how simple it is, please, mate, because tonight seemed to be the difference in all performances that we've seen over the last six months. Yeah, well, I came with a narrative that I wasn't expecting. I, I'm still suffering from Brighton because Brentford um, followed Brighton and I, I saw it coming. Um, today I was looking to see whether we had a manager who could actually change things up, not just in personnel, but in a, playing in a way that suited, suited what we could play and to the opponent we were playing against. And it was a big resounding yes. Uh, and indeed teamwork, it's unrecognisable. Even, even, even when Ralph was winning games, we, we never had that level of teamwork uh, in the match. It went mate, didn't it? Because we were dead on our feet. You can tell we've not done that for a long time because when the players are that tired, the amount of cramp we were taking in that game thing for Ryan, Martinez, Rashford, everyone was struggling at the end. That goes to show the level that we've not been to in a way, doesn't it? Well, it, it's no coincidence that five subs came on and uh, I, I, know it, I know it's slightly different when he said he could have made 11 subs at Brentford, but he could have done with two more because they were. They were all blowing out of their arse and some of them were blowing out their arse at half time. So. Maybe they've not done enough. They might they might have done too much bench pressing and not enough cardio. Too much posing, mate. That's what it is, pal. Too much posing. Fitness is going to be key, mate. Southampton next is going to be a different challenge altogether. Did you see enough there? I know Liverpool, big stage, a lot going on off the pitch today as well. A lot with the blades of protest and everything like that. It was an emotional night. You have to try and channel that now and move it forward into the Southampton games. The sort of not so big games and keep that energy well uh, you've got a lot of players there who put a marker down um, I said uh, before we went on that um, Luke Shaw's got a big problem now uh, and I was delighted for the pair at centre half because they um, I just wish they'd seen it out and got a clean sheet because they bloody well deserved it um, they headed everything out what I really loved from the first minute, uh, Martinez kicked Seller, and he, he was like, "I don't care who you are, uh, you're going to get it, mate." And it, and it, and it. I've said I've said on here before about momentum. We've we've put a stupid pass out at the, on the touchline, and the momentum's gone. Nobody was letting momentum dip today. Even even when there was a lull in the crowd, there was a tap. It's coming. It is coming. Now, Southampton, whether we can do that in less than a week, that's a test for them. But how would you change a winning team like that? It's very difficult. Very, very difficult. I know you said and, and I know you said you wanted Martial and I agree with you. But like Ricky said, we've got to be careful with his fitness because yep. that kid keeps the ball. Yeah, he looks up to it better than most people do, mate. I mean, I mean, when you're getting that excited, the police have come over to calm you down and <laughs> right. behind you. But, <laughs> but going forward, Graham, it's like, we've got a bit of partnerships going. You mentioned the centre-backs. Yeah. But we had Rashford and Martial back tonight. Yeah. And Martial and Rashford have always, so they've always been, and I've said it all, and I'm gonna keep telling everyone, because <laughs> I said this a long time ago, the best of Martial and Rashford is when they're together. It always has been. That leaves our CR7 sat on the bench, mate, or does that mean CR7's gone? Are you bothered yeah, right. right now? As I said to the lads behind me, um, he's a problem if he's here and he's a problem if he's not here. My view on it is, I think we sold him a dream that wasn't really there. Uh, it was great, it, I mean, we saw his hat-tricks. I, I keep going on about the goal he got at home against Brighton. It was one of my favourite goals of the season. Um, but he's not the answer, just like quite a few people in that squad. Could you use him still this season now? How much did you see us? Could you see? Well, he's seen well, Casemiro coming now. He's seen Varane hopefully get more game time now. He's a little bit more bite. We've just beaten Liverpool for the first time, I think the second time in 13 games. Yeah. There's a sign there tonight. He might have been watching from the sign, but can this, there's a chance there that we might have convinced him, you know what, there is a chance that maybe he can finish his United career with silverware because We've still got a lot to play for, and if we keep this up and keep getting better, Cameron will get on board with it. 
We never get the truth though, do we, Adam? Well, we're going we to get it in two weeks, well, apparently, when he does his interview, mate, so... Well, we, well, let, let's put it this way. It'll be more interesting than... Uh, than uh, what, what was it? The pog fraud? Oh, yeah, yeah. Pogmentary. Yeah. Pogmentary, sorry. <laughs> yeah, pog fraud. I disrespect. <laughs> so, sorry, the Pogba fans. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Oh, no. But the... Uh, what, what was I going to say about the... Oh, uh, yeah. I remember, I remember being here last year when it was quiet, and I just said... This place is, um, is is like an animal waiting to explode. Tonight, the beast came out. The beast came out and it frightened Liverpool to the knees. We need more of that, mate, don't we? Uh, we'd like, yeah, it happens when you build a squad and we keep the ball better. I think that's probably why we ended up conceding the goal. But uh, you can't, you can't build everything in five minutes, and we are we are going to get we are going to get pissed off again, definitely. Got to walk before we can run again, mate. Is I think what you're trying to say there. Well, baby steps moving forward. Hopefully, as we've all we've all we keep saying it, it's about recruitment. Let's see what we get in in the next week and a half. Exactly that, mate. Graham, nice to see you smile and cheers for coming on, mate. Thank you, Adam.